welcome back guys to another Mountain Blade episode where we're currently chasing some uh, desertas. If they steer off too far from where I want to go, I'm not going to chase them. Oh. And we are slowly rebuilding our army. After the crushing defeat we suffered. I wouldn't call it crushing, but it was a def... Well, no, it was a crushing defeat. But we did weaken them, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure. Um, we were trying to look up how the AI reinforces or how often. I don't really care about how, I just want to know how often. Um. Da, da, da. Um. Wait, is this even the right game? Yeah, wall ban. Okay. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. Trying to... Um... I don't, I can't really find anything on that. I probably can do some more in-depth research. Or do some spread seating. <laughs> that would actually be fun, do, doing a spread seat episode. <laughs> I don't know though, I do not know. Yeah, well, we'll have to think about that. I, I want to see what I can find about that. Find, and that way we can break it down and see see what we can find out. Oh, it's a trap. Come on, pull out my sword. <laughs> No, I don't have a seal. For crying out loud, I couldn't figure out where my sword was. Oh, you ain't gonna, you can't do damage to me. Bastard. You bastards. Da -da 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 -da. Run on down here. And I believe this is a Rodox village. I think it provides Rodox troops. See, I, I, I want to know. I really want to know the, the mechanic behind the. Lords. I guess. I guess after I done, I'm done recording. I'll sit down and see if I can break it down. I don't know. And then may maybe depending on if I actually find anything whilst reporting, I might actually show you guys <laughs> the breakdown of it. If if you are interested, I know some people like like picking apart um how games work. And I'm one of those people, I just don't do it, because, well, I just don't. I never thought about actually sitting down and picking apart game mechanics. 
So, I mean, like, 4X games, like EU4, Civilization, and whatnot, sitting down and breaking breaking the mechanics apart and learning how, how it works can really give you an advantage in the game because you can sit there and figure out what would work or how a certain mechanic works and what advantages you can use from that information. So, it's definitely something I, I would like to do because if I can figure out how a lord gets his troops then I can figure out how one, how to set up the kingdom once we actually sustain a kingdom and two, how f fighting lords affects that. Oh, come on. Enough of the traps. Okay. Yes, that's, that's the attack I wanted to do. You bastards. Get out of here. Whoever's sending you guys sucks. It's probably it's probably the Kingdom of Varus sending you guys, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Kingdom of Vargas went to war with King the Nords, which is not good for us. Not good for us one bit. Okay, we have have our 35 archers. Let's, uh, let's quickly run back there. And... Well, try... If we, if we need need to secure the two castles from Vargas. The two weakened castles from Vargas we need to uh, capture before the Nords go after them. Uh, I was not expecting that. I wonder why, where where the how Kingdom of Vargas thought they could actually beat up the these nords. Because I don't don't see how that is possible. I don't see how Kingdom of Vargas has enough pa uh, manpower to fight the Nords. I just don't see it. Cause we we weaken them really, really badly. Like they only have five castles Two of them are down on troops, and I don't know how they expect to win. I don't see it. Okay, can we catch this group, please? So I think I'm going to change up how we engage armies. Um, when we're attacking a lord, or we're going to attack lords, I think we're going to put our most powerful troops in first. But when we're attacking bandits, we'll have them come in last, so our other guys can actually get XP. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I want it to make sense. So gross. Now we are gonna charge in here and get some XP ourselves. Assuming we can actually not die. Shit. Shit. Cover me, men. Kill them. I 
gonna say I love how we have our <laughs> our companions just sitting sitting back. Our horse is almost down for the count. Yeah, it sucks not having a shield. Ah! Give me that shield. That shield is mine. You bastards. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying you bastards. I forgot we had him in the party. Go do that. Alright, and you become footman. So yeah, once we start hitting max tier, so the hook heroes hero scops or whatever they're called, we will start putting at the bottom of the list as when we're upgrading troops. When we're going out trying to upgrade troops, that's what we'll do. They'll go on the bottom of the list. And then when we go to attack a lord or castle, we will put them on up front. So they will be in the front of the army. Okay. Is this castle? That castle is not being tested. That castle is not being tested. I don't know how they are doing over there. Seeing how two of the lords from uh, the nodes are already captured. That's that's a bad sign. Oh, that's being raided. Never mind. Yeah, that's a welcoming sign. Huh. But let's let's continue gathering up our troops. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the lords in the game, they actually have their own level. So, the lords level up as, like we do. We level up by getting XP. They level up by getting XP. So, they, they actually have, like, their own XP meter, from what I saw in uh, the foam I was looking at. So it's actually interesting thinking about that. And you know, actually, these two going to war is actually a good thing for us. Because it's going to weaken Vargas for us. To where we can freely go and siege castles. Oh wow, they already took a castle from them. Shit, they're taking that one too. Fuck. Ah. Okay, we need to come over here, recruit, and go to the castle the farthest away, and take it. Because if the nodes take that one, that's going to leave them with three castles. If we take one, that knocks them down to two, and we can work on getting the last two. So. 
we are definitely going to be taking advantage of this. Okay, let's head over there. I want to see... How, if we can maybe step in and take that before they do. I don't think we will be able to. But I want to see... I think it may take sort of for us to get a siege to start before the AI gets a siege. I could be wrong though. I've been wrong about stu some stuff like that before. <laughs> Trying to figure out how AI work while not really breaking it down, just assuming stuff. But yeah, let's. Okay, you're coming with us. We are coming over here to look at a castle that is apparently under siege. Oh, it's not under siege. Um, it's, it just says it is, but it's actually not. Okay, well, we're not in a position to siege that castle. But that is the castle we do want, and it ha has been um, reinforced. It was at 21, but now it's not. I think it gets, they reinforce every, every time we get money. So it's like every week, they reinforce. But once again, we we don't know that for sure. We're going off of assumptions with that. Okay, I want to come and check out this castle, see how weak it is. Finding bandits. I thought maybe they were fighting Vargas. I was gonna say, geez, everyone's going out to those guys. Oh, that went to the king too? Okay. So the king probably has a bit of troops. Hmm. So, because Kingdom of Argus is being... Oh, they're sieging that castle again. I probably should have... Uh gone ahead and oh oh wow weak castle okay we'll be back I want to crush this guy before he comes and reinforces okay never mind he's running um thing is we're not fully upgraded and they got knights and whatnot uh, let's see that's uh 26 60 90 almost a hundred troops probably is over a hundred troops Oh. The issue is, is we don't have very upgraded troops. Um. I, I oh well, that is the end of this episode. But I actually think 
we can take this because let's see they have six knights which is probably the most and only five marksmen I don't see m many archers they have a lot of footmen in this castle So because of the lack of archers, we probably can siege this castle. Okay, okay, that's that's what we will probably be doing in the next episode. But as always, you guys do take care, and I will catch you guys in the next one.